All right, we're gonna do a speed run responding to all the questions from TikTok about Ichigo and Luffy. So the first one, uh, or comments for that matter. This person said, it's true Luffy can't damage Ichigo because he is a ghost, but no one in the big three MC is planetary, don't be biased. So I already explained that in part two of Ichigo versus Luffy. Um, but basically, Naruto and Ichigo can produce enough energy because they've been able to defeat people that have destroyed planets or even more. Uh, first of all, comparing one anime to another in terms of power is BS. Not trying to say either of the anime are bad. So why does boxing exist? But for comparison is what I responded. And this is because, look, when we watch um, shonen anime, particularly the uh, big three, these are all fighting anime. Like the whole reason why we watch them is to watch the progression of Zoro become the best swordsman or um, Luffy become the pirate king, right? It wouldn't be a good show if he just straight away at the very start, just skipped to, it, it'd be the equivalent of One Punch Man and it'd be a running gag, which is fine and can be a good show. And I still find uh, Saitama very entertaining, but we also want to see if Saitama ever comes up against somebody who's stronger than him that might have cooler powers than Saitama. And that's what makes it entertaining. The comparison between Saitama and a stronger person or Luffy and a stronger person. And how can you possibly not ever once thought, what if Luffy could beat Naruto? Like it's the same as the fight community. If anyone that's in the fight community compares fighters to each other, even though they might be cross sports, for example, Brock Lesnar versus Mike Tyson in a boxing match, who do you think would win in their primes? Both of them. Like, this is just questions that people ask all the time because it'd be interesting, but it never happens and probably never will happen because a lot of awesome fighters died and they didn't live in the same time period. So we're like, oh, what if we took this cool fighter when he was in his prime against the current prime of this fighter? Do you think who would win? It's it's just a fun comparison. Um, Seifu, they have a black hole attack and blue hole, then galaxy impact. So it's beyond planetary in one piece. And he did say it was a joke. So I'm not sure if he was being serious, but... I think he also liked my comment, but anyways, um, I responded, a black hole attack that doesn't function like a real black hole. It's not a real black hole, but a weaker, lesser thing. So in fiction, anything can happen. And that includes like an attack that is stated to be a black hole may not necessarily function like one. Like, because if it really was, the whole One Piece world would have been sucked into that black hole, but that never happened. Um, and it would have been bye-bye One Piece and no piece is what we would have been left with. So it's not a black hole, therefore it doesn't scale to a real black hole that is. It scales to whatever it was capable of destroying. Biggest L ever taken. Even Don Chin Zhao is planetary. What? <laughs> and then I said, oof, that's some high level brain damage going on in response. Like kind of like a, a pun because Don Chin Zhao, you know, like the, the whole head thing. Anyways, um, and then he couldn't quite formulate this. So his response was how so? Because I, I was kind of like taking a stab both at Don Chin Zhao being planetary and also his comment was kind of weird. And also the fact that he said that I'm the biggest L. But anyways, Don Chin Zhao is not planetary. He never destroyed a planet. Simple debunk. Unknown boyfriend. What a name. Uh, bro, Ichigo is universal because of a statement, bro. And you know Ichigo is strong because he is hacks and not durability or strength, bro. Uh, so my response was, no, the universe was manipulated and proven with feats by Soul King, uh, the creator of Bleach verse and Yuha, the destroyer of the Bleach verse, basically. And also Aizen was attempting to blow up. Like, so these were proven feats. Like they weren't just statements. In the manga panels, like the pictures was like <clears throat> the bleach versus being destroyed and things would like out of the normal things, events were happening. Um, like all those places were reacting in such a way that they shouldn't be to the point where they were going to be destroyed. And if it wasn't for the defender of humanity or Ichigo or the main characters in each of these shows um, defeating these people, in Naruto and Bleach, Ichigo and Naruto, that is, they hadn't have stopped certain characters like Kaguya, like Aizen, like Yuha, their planets would have been destroyed in the verse with them. This kind of a villain has never existed in One Piece or any of these alien level threats have never existed. Uh, and then Unknown Boyfriend thought that was a statement that Yuha was going to destroy the universe. Apparently that's a statement. It wasn't a statement. It literally was happening. Sometimes it's blatantly obvious when people have literally never seen a show other than One Piece. And this is an example. People that grew up in my generation, there were literally only three interesting anime growing up. And that was Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece. That's it. Jujutsu Kaisen and all these like new gen anime weren't out. So I wasn't watching Demon Slayer and Attack on Titans, all this other stuff. The only three things to keep up week by week was Bleach, 
One Piece, and not at all. And anyone that's just jumping into this whole anime fandom now, obviously have no idea what they're talking about because a lot of people have not bothered to go through and watch every single episode. Like people that actually grew up with the generation it was designed for, which was basically anyone born in the 90s should have been the people that were like, and actually liked anime in the 90s would have been the ones that were consuming the big three, would have watched it from beginning to end basically. Rapture, so you think Ichigo can beat a god. Luffy is Shinra level Ichigo doesn't even come close. Ever heard of God form Aizen? Or Yuha? Or even the Soul King was considered a god. Like, there's many people that were considered gods in Bleach. What's your point? Kage Osutsuki was stated to be a god. Like, all the Osutsuki were stated to be gods. And worshipped as gods even by humans. And so all of a sudden, Luffy just became a god. Apparently is an amazing thing. Boruto's an Osutsuki now. So, did you just realize that... One Piece sort of finally caught up to things that were happening back in literally Naruto part one or literally at the beginning of Bleach. We were already discovering gods. If you're new to this whole comparing anime thing, go watch the other shows that you are comparing it to. Don't just watch One Piece and then get sad. Now, Leo Garcia said, okay, I love Ichigo, but we've never seen Ichigo destroy a planet. Already explained this before. Um, he's harm people that can. <clears throat> so therefore he scales to the amount of energy, which is AP. Um, do Bleach characters are stronger than Naruto and One Piece universe combined? I responded to this. The comments are telling me otherwise. Everyone is saying One Piece is the strongest. Like, there was something like 18 people vehemently commenting and spam replying to everybody, just saying One Piece is the best. You're an idiot. Like, you're, you're like all this kind of stuff, right? I don't know if you noticed, but like, for some reason, my videos get like 200 comments in the first like 10 minutes. Even the YouTube videos have got like tons of comments, and a lot of them. Um, we're not just One Piece fans, they're, they're kind of everyone. The gravity guy, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Fujitora, <clears throat> is planetary and Luffy can kill him. I like it when people make bold assertions or claims and they don't even know the name of the character. <laughs> the gravity guy. And he actually kind of backtracked and then said in response, we will never know if Luffy is planetary because it's an anime based off pirates, not aliens such as Dragon Ball Z. He basically confirmed what I said. Because One Piece characters are just staying on the one planet, they're not really traveling other planets. They're not interested in blowing up other people's planets to defend their planet. Whereas this is very common in Marvel, in DC, in almost every other verse that are traveling planets. Oh, these evil aliens want to destroy our planet, but we've got to blow them up before they blow us up. And so that's why you get even superheroes will blow up planets to defend their home or Earth for that matter, right? Um... Well, you won't see that in One Piece because they're not even leaving their planet yet. So that's why they don't have any planetary characters. Simple. And he agreed. He said, we will never know if Luffy is planetary because it's an anime based on pirates. You know, pirates will stay on the same planet. Unless if they're NL. That's different. Anyways. <clears throat> love this comment. I see it almost on every video. <laughs> Jesus Christ loves you so much that he died on the cross for you. And it always gets tons of likes. And I just, you know, usually send love hearts. Like, I think it's so wholesome that people do this. So keep doing it. Um, prick, my nose is so itchy. Is it itchy go, the itchy nose, itchy go. It's because like one day my cat decided to come up on here and I've banned him from basically coming in here because he gets all his fluffs everywhere, including on the mic. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like fluffs. Anyways, <clears throat> hey, Chido saying a gear five re reality manipulating Toon Force Luffy can't damage Ichigo it has to be satire. I already covered this in part one of Ichigo versus Luffy. And basically... Um, God Eisen also had like pocket reality manipulation, very similar to Luffy because Luffy hasn't been proven to reality warp the entire One Piece world as an example. He's only been proven to be able to, you know, the people that are within his um, presence, you know, turn them to rubber and all kinds of things like this. So this would, if anything, be very limited Toon Force or very limited reality warping on a very small scale. Or it's also possibly just the fact that he's able to turn things into rubber which isn't warping at all. So we've yet to have a little bit more uh, clarification and detail to the details of his power because even after these powers were revealed, there's still a lot of manga panels coming out explaining the true nature of this fruit. So everyone could have been lied to for all we know and we don't actually know the full truth of the extent of his powers. So that's yet to be fully revealed. So yeah, sp simply put, that's exactly what I was saying. By my logic, no one in One Piece is planetary because DC, right, is the destructive capacity to destroy a thing. And if you didn't destroy the thing, then you don't have that DC. 
No one in One Piece has the DC or destructive capacity to destroy a planet. Simple. Now, AP <clears throat> is the ability to scale to someone's DC. <clears throat> so if no one in One Piece has the DC of planetary, no one can possibly AP scale to planetary. How can they AP scale higher than uh, everyone's DC in the verse? If they can't, because the definition of attack potency is literally, you can scale to someone else's DC in the verse. So that entire verse will cap at whoever performed the largest destructive capacity feat. That is what will basically determine the scaling for the entire verse. So if the biggest feat was blowing up a planet, then everybody will cap at planetary. Like the, no one could be possibly higher than that. What it will say, if they are theoretically stronger than that person who blew up a planet, it will say planetary or higher, possibly higher. That's what it will say in like versus wiki as an example. <clears throat> because you can't actually quantify to what degree higher. And even if you could, it's still like, th then, then they might have like a multiplier or something like that. But that's, a complicated uh, discussion for another day. But anyways, that's all for um, answering all the questions on TikTok. But thank you for watching. And if you have any further questions on Ichigo versus Luffy, um, this will probably be the last video that I'm going to try cover all of those questions. Um, and then I'm going to move on to another topic. Um, and then I'll put some topics in a poll of what video you would like to see next. And then you guys can vote for them as per usual. And whatever you vote for is what video will come out next. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you all. Peace.